how does public speaking help you in your everyday life well if you're in college you will need it when you're making presentations if you are at work you will be given a chance to chair a meeting every week every office my office has a meeting and i pass it around a turn to every of staff member to speak irrespective whether they can speak in english or hindi i said i don't care speak you are in charge you are in charge of the meeting so you get a chance to chair a meeting you get a chance to introduce a guest speaker another very interesting thing for the youngsters out here and for those who are in business there is something called elevator pitch i'm sure many of you know what an elevator pitch so the time it takes for an elevator to go from ground floor to the 14th or 18th or 20th floor probably the time when we go back to the elevators you will be in and you will get a person walking in who you would like to connect or you would like to say hello to or you would like to pitch your business to or and he happens to be in the same elevator as you are and there are 10 or 15 others so you have the 10 15 20 30 seconds to pitch to that guy what will you pitch hey that's when your public speaking skills come into place so you need to have an elevator pitch and it all boils down to one simple thing about public speaking you need to have a story about yourself everybody needs to create a story you may have a story up to the age where you are i am 52 i have a lot of things to tell a story i can't tell my story in 3 um, minutes but i have to create a 1 minute story about myself each and every one of you need to have a story which you can tell in 30 seconds into 1 minute who you are what's special about you what do you like to do and why do i need to talk to you that's it it is very important to create a story and once you create a story you have to practice your story 300 times not once or twice i remember my my uh, circus school teacher tells me that don't practice till you get it right practice till you cannot get it wrong <laughs> i repeat don't practice till you get it right practice till you cannot get it wrong what does this mean it means that once you practice it over and over again then you stop thinking what you are doing once you stop thinking what you are doing you begin to focus on the expression you begin to focus on the emotions you begin to focus on the other person that's when the content becomes part of you and becomes second nature to you how do you give an impromptu speech wow that's so amazing a lot of you have seen stand up comedians on stage on tv do you think these guys are saying everything impromptu they make it sound so wonderful they talk to you and they respond to you and they crack a joke on you and then they crack a joke on the audience <laughs> no everything is scripted everything is practiced every sentence they say is correct practice and again to use a very colloquial language they've got standard sentences for every question they ask so if they ask they catch a bakra that's one they catch a bakra on the front row and they ask a question if this one responds this way i have this answer if this one responds this way i have the answer the idea i'm trying to make you understand is it is rehearsed it is practiced nothing is spontaneous Uh, again a great writer said to give a spontaneous speech it takes me 3 weeks of practice <laughs> so you practice so well that your speech becomes spontaneous hostile audience an audience will only get hostile if they boo you if they boo you then you better go away <laughs> why would an audience get hostile unless you are in a classroom and throwing chalk and paper balls at you but um, in uh, you would have to explain to me about hostile so generally generally audience i this is my experience of speaking when i go up on stage 98% of the times the audience wants me to succeed now you guys are talking about audience attention hostile audience when the audience is not listening to you that is in your environment in college where people just boo you for make fun of you just to have a laugh it is not in the real world in the real world if somebody calls you up to speak they are they are paying you to speak or they are spending time to listen to you like for you you are spending time to listen to me you will not switch on your microphone and, ah, and make the noise no you want me to succeed you want to listen to me 
and that is real in the real 98% of the time your audience wants you to succeed it is you who are not living up to the audience reputation by saying all right ladies and gentlemen today's speech i'm really not prepared for it because i was just told about it at the last minute well how much time do i have right now for this show well i do hope you enjoy my lecture because i don't know whether it is appropriate <laughs> you are called to speak speak up <laughs> why are you giving excuses why are you putting ideas in your head and not listen to you that you are not prepared who knows so that's one of the important things I've seen. One of the best speakers come and they, before you start the speech, ah, yeah, forget it. Let me get onto my phone. This guy has told me he's not prepared, so I'm not interested. Do you see how you can, cre you can create your own graveyard before you speak? How to sound clear on the phone? Okay, coming back to the phone. One of the easy things to sound clear is to speak slowly. To speak slowly and speak aloud. When you speak so soft and you're speaking so and you're speaking so fast, you will not be heard. You gotta speak slowly and you gotta speak aloud. So the other person hears and whatever bandwidth gets blocked, you can speak slowly. All right. What do you do when you forget your content on stage? Huh. So this is my secret weapon. Prep. P R E P. What does prep mean? Prep means you prepare. But it's also a short form for prep. P for point, R for reason, E for example, and P for point again. This is what I learned uh, 25 years ago when I attended my public speaking class and it still works. State your point. You have a point. Stick to one point, not to 3,000 points. One point. State a point. Give a reason for the point. Why have you stated the point? Give an E, for example, an example why you stated the reason for that point. And then state your point once again. The point, reason, example, point. That itself can be a 35-minute speech. 